Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I set myself a challenge the other day to see if I could feed our family of four for as little as possible. I just wanted to see how cheaply we could do it. So I've done three family meals over the last week and I have filmed like a couple of them and then chatted about the third one. So basically the three meals that I've done all cost between one and two pound per person, which I didn't think was too bad to be honest maybe one or even two of them were more like 50 pence a person because I got some lunch out of it as well or it was a little bit cheaper again but basically I'm quite happy with like the price it cost to feed us they were three pretty healthy meals I'm happy with the food that I fed them that week um yeah so it was a bit of a challenge and I think I'm going to do it again because I really enjoyed like being able to sit down at the table and think actually yeah this really didn't cost much and actually it's pretty healthy so yeah I hope you enjoy so the first meal of the week is rigatoni this cost three pounds in total and it is the Madison sausage tomatoes ratatouille onion garlic tomato ketchup and some pasta so i start off by just getting the blender out popping in the tomatoes and the ratatouille and i literally just stick them in and blend them up add some onion as well so that can be blended and then also stick some garlic on as well and then give it another whiz up until it's completely smooth. I did just add a little bit of tomato ketchup as well for a bit of sweetness, but that's just a personal choice and just a pinch of sugar as well. And yeah, once it's all in, give it a decent blend up, as smooth as you want. Uh, I added salt, but you know, I know that that's not to everyone's taste, salt and pepper, so it's up to you if you want to add that, but yeah. Once you're happy with the smoothness, you can just stick that in a saucepan ready to be heated up. I've cut up the sausages. We've just done them into thin slices. Uh, that's just what the kids prefer, but you can cut them up smaller if you want. And then I've measured out enough pasta for the four of us. Just stick some oregano in the sauce as well, just to give it a little bit more flavour. I like a lot of oregano. We do like quite tasty sauces. And then I just stick the Madison's sausage in on the top of that. And that can just be left to heat up slowly. Just bring in the pasta to the boil. And then that takes about 15, 20 minutes, about the same time as the sauce. Drain all the water off. And then I just stick the sauce with the sausage into the pasta. Give it a really good mix up. And there you are your dinner is ready you can serve it with salad and a bit of sprinkly cheese if you want but yeah it's a hit with the whole family and it is so so cheap three pounds all in to feed four people My second thrifty meal is beef stew and dumplings. This is a firm favourite. So again, fairly cheap to do. Some steak, dumpling mix, lentils, onion, stock cubes, potatoes, carrots, garlic. So I soaked some lentils for a little bit and then I made up a stock with a couple of stock cubes and some water. Just peeled and chopped the potatoes and carrots and put them in the slow cooker first then stick the lentils on the top there and then I just added some lazy chopped garlic and some onions that I chopped up I think it was about half an onion in the end little blob of tomato puree and a dash of Lee and Perrin's Worcester sauce and a spoon of Marmite, which I always add. And then I just fried off the stewing steak in with the onion as well. And once it was just browned, it didn't take long. Um, I just stuck some flour on as well, just to thicken it up a little bit. And then I just covered the meat and the bits with enough hot water just to kind of roughly cover them. And I've got my dumpling mix for later, but I'm gonna add those in for the last half an hour. They're pretty easy to make. Just made six little dumplings. The kids aren't so keen. Uh, so there's just like two or three each for us. Half an hour from the end, I just stick them on the top. And yeah, they fluff up really nicely. Uh, were really, really delicious. The kids like their stew whizzed up into more of a thick soup. And then they dip bread in theirs. But this is how we had ours. And it was absolutely delicious. Super healthy, except the dumplings. And yeah only cost six pounds for the whole meal 
And for the third and final meal, we had roast chicken. I didn't bother recording how I made a roast dinner because I'm sure most of you know how to do one. But basically, we had roast chicken, potatoes, sprouts, broccoli and carrots with some gravy. And I made the Yorkshire puddings. So I've popped on the split screen to show you how much it cost. But it basically cost £8 so each portion was obviously two pound which is a huge saving compared to going out for a carvery we managed to save money by making our own yorkshire puddings uh, and i also made enough for my mum and dad that day as well but yeah basically two pound a head for a yummy roast dinner and we had leftover chicken for two days worth of sandwiches as well so it's a really thrifty way of feeding the whole family Thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. This was a really requested video actually, when I said on the last video, are there anything that anyone wants to watch? And the people that did respond were all like thrifty meals, like how to feed your family cheaply. Um, so that's why I decided to do it. And I like the challenge as well. I probably will do a shopping type challenge as well, just to see how cheap I can do that as well, because I'm got the bit between my teeth now. I want to see how much money I can save at the moment in the lead up to Christmas. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed it. And if there are any other videos that you would like, then yeah, feel free to ask. But have a fab week and I will see you all soon. Bye.